Um, Leo, I have a bit of an issue with my computer. I've Googled uh, the problem and I still really can't find the answer, but it's quite common. Um, NVIDIA. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. N- NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA. 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 It, uh, it's crashing on a regular basis. Yeah, me too. I got um, a crashing NVIDIA too. <laughs> Are you using uh, Windows 10? No, Windows 7 actually. Windows 7. So I uh, use I have a high end uh, computer that I use for virtual reality, and of course, uh, as required by Oculus and Vive, it's got an Nvidia video card in it, the 970. And um, as soon as the Windows 10 update came out, uh, the, it started crashing all the time, blue screening on me. Anytime, when does it blue screen on you? Well, it doesn't bl- it black screens, um, and mm. it's making uh, like reverb audio. Oh, sometimes it's, okay. Sometimes it's restoring, and it's coming up with a little um, message in the bottom right hand corner saying that uh, it recovered from a crash. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But most times, when I'm watching HD video, um, it will just uh, go black. And the audio will, uh, yeah, make terrible screeching noises and stuff like that. So let me just explain why that's happening. The audio making sound really tells you something. What it is is a bad driver, a driver with a bug. And when the one of the things that's a really bad thing to do, as but happens all the time. It's one of the most common bugs of all. Is writing to portions of memory that you don't control. In this case, writing to the sound buffers. So it's putting random data into the sound buffers. The sound card's then playing it, and it sounds horrible, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So that's a sign. When you when something like that happens, like when your screen goes dark and then jumps around and the sound goes, that's a sign that something in software is writing to the wrong area of memory. Now, the only thing that can do that is Windows itself or a driver. What we call – they're, they're – they're, system level applications applications that are running in the user portion of memory don't have permission to change other programs buffers so that kind of error won't happen uh you know when a program crashes but when a driver crashes it can so we know it's a driver issue where i'm sure it's an nvidia driver issue and in fact i think as i remember nvidia has pushed out a couple of driver updates just in the last week so they've right. got they've got something wrong. So video, well, what you I need to do is is something. update your video driver now. Here's the problem. Right. You don't know which one's going to work, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So when yeah. you get an Nvidia card, Nvidia uh, is it's an interesting kind of a company. They're a, 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 they're like ARM. They're a fabulous designer. They make a design for video chips, and then other companies will license it. So you don't usually get a video card, video card from NVIDIA unless you're getting some sort of review or reference card. You're getting it from another company, Asus, or, uh, you know, I can't remember. There's a lot of companies that use the NVIDIA designs. <clears throat> so what that means is there is a multitude of NVIDIA drivers. The driver is the software that tells Windows how to talk to the video card. A poorly written driver causes exactly these symptoms. The problem is which one should you use, especially since NVIDIA seems to be pumping them out at this point, trying to fix whatever's gone on. So, uh, what there's four, at least, four c- current drivers for any NVIDIA card. There is the NVIDIA reference driver, and that's one NVIDIA writes and gives to everybody who uses NVIDIA chips to do a video card. There's the driver created by the manufacturer of the video card that is designed based on the NVIDIA reference driver, but may or may not be different. Usually is somewhat different. So that's two. There's the one you would get from Windows Update. (laughs) Usually that's an older one that was submitted either by NVIDIA or by the card manufacturer for Windows Hardware Quality Lab certification. Now, WHQL certification usually means that that's the best of the bunch, but it's not going to be the fastest of the bunch, and it's not going to be the most recent of the bunch, uh, because card companies don't submit 
their drivers every time. It costs too much. It's too much. It's a lengthy process. So they might submit one every year or so to the Microsoft to, for for uh, certification. So there'll be an NVIDIA driver. There'll be a a, a, a company driver. There'll be a company WHQL driver, and there'll be the Windows Update driver. <laughs> and some or all of them may have this bug. Sometimes if they all do, then you have to go back to an earlier version. I always start at the... I use the NVIDIA software, and you should probably... I'm sure you have that installed. It's installed usually with the card. And the NVIDIA software will download the appropriate driver. Um, but you may end up saying, that's not going to work, so you're going to go to your manufacturer. And thank you, Art Chandra, for providing me some names. MSI, Gigabyte, XFX, EVGA, PNY, Zotac... And I mentioned Asus. They all make NVIDIA video cards. So figure out who made yours. Go to their site. Get their latest drivers. Get Microsoft's latest driver. Get NVIDIA's latest driver. And and figure out which one you works best for you. Generally, Windows Update's going to use the certified driver, right? That'd be the oldest, but it might be the most stable. And NVIDIA also makes, <laughs> and this is a, probably a good idea, a tool for uninstalling all the other stuff and starting over. So this is my first advice to you is to get the window, the uh, NVIDIA cleanout tool. Thank you, Rusty Bones. We'll put a link at uh, techguylabs.com for that. Uh, you can find it at nvidia.com. It'll clean out all the driver bits and install the latest one. That's the first thing I would do. I'm facing the same thing. And, you know, I just kind of gave up. I threw up my hands. Uh, I have, you know, this really nice machine running, uh, you know, HTC Vive virtual reality and the Oculus Rift virtual reality. It was great. It was wonderful. And then I uh, did Windows Update, you know, in August when Microsoft did the big update. Everything stopped working. Anytime I try to do the 3D stuff, the virtual reality stuff, blue screen to death. Every time. And I have to reboot. And finally, I just turned it off and said, oh, you know, I'll come back to you later. So now it's time, a month, month or two later, two months later, probably to see if there's a better driver. This is not unusual. This is not unusual. So clean out the old drivers. Install the newest one from NVIDIA. And if that doesn't work, try your manufacturer. If that doesn't work, try Microsoft. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.